become level. Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's General315, back again, another sneaker review video for y'all. And today we got the Starfish joints, the women's Starfish Jordan 1 OG High Retros. I got these ones on deck for you guys to see some details and break the shoe down and really see what's different between these and the Shattered Backboard 2.0s. Now, I really like this shoe. It took me a minute to actually get a vendor to send me these because they weren't so enthusiastic about sending them for some reason. Now, I personally think this shoe is dope. Now, they're very, very similar, but there is some subtle differences just really subtle differences but before i get into all of that make sure you guys subscribe to the channel comment down below let me know what you guys think thumbs up the video share the video with your family and friends that really helps the channel grow and i appreciate the help with that you guys have been a really really good community keep commenting down below on the videos and make sure you guys give me suggestions of things that you want to see me review I will try my best to go and get it, all right? Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates. Check out the Reels page. That's really where you will see me put stuff up that I will review next or stuff that I have reviewed in the past. So if you're interested in certain shoes that are coming out and I've already reviewed it, you might see that I've done it and you'll see a little preview on Instagram. So go ahead and check me out on Instagram. Follow that as well. Last but not least, make sure you guys follow me in the Discord. The Discord link is in the description. That is where you will find out where the cops, you'll find out where I got these joints, you'll find out where I get a lot of my kicks. A lot of them are retail and a lot of them are UA. And like I said, the channel is really just for education, just to show you guys different details of these shoes because it's one thing to see a picture online and it's another thing to see someone have it in hand and show you a detailed review and that's why I go after the UAs a lot. I can get it really, really early and just give you a nice detailed look all right so go ahead and check us in that discord the link is in the description all right this is basically the women's shattered backboard 2.0 right that's really what it is you get the same color scheme but then you get some different hits of brown and aged midsoles so i do like that without going too crazy into it i'm just gonna break this one down we got brown around that ankle collar right there we have a wings logo that's brown we have the original starfish color on that chicago style color blocking with the white mid panel and the white toe box. But instead of a white midsole, we have sail and we do have that starfish on the bottom. Taking a more closer detailed look, the toe box height is very, very nice. Pretty cool. You got that nice curvature right there. Doesn't look too bad. Our leather though is a little bit more tumbled, whereas on the shattered backboard, you have more of a flatter style of leather, but you guys can actually see a different grain in this leather right here. You see when I push it, you can see that you have a nice little texture of leather in there. Now on the Shatter Backboard 2.0, it doesn't have that. It's just a flat style of leather and that's it. Toe box looks pretty good. Nice leather quality right there. You guys can see that I'm pressing that down and it is soft leather, very, very good. But on this leather too, on this orange, you have this outline of this brown or black right here. And I thought that was kind of interesting. They've been doing that a lot with different shoes. And I think it's the unions that really started that when they had that yellow line around that leather. They kind of been doing that. So that's being recycled a little bit. So we get to see that still. Mid panel was pretty good. Same style of leather as the toe box. White, you got some nice grain in there. So not bad. Starfish Nike swoosh right there. So not bad there. Here's our wings logo. It looks pretty good, got a little shine to it. It's embossed nice. Brown around that ankle collar. It feels a little synthetic, I'm not gonna lie, but it is soft. It just feels a little synthetic up here, but you do have some nice grain there, so it's not bad. We have some nice curvature to that heel right there, so that isn't bad. It looks pretty good. We got an hourglass shape back here. That looks good as well. Everything seems to be stitched very well right there. Medial side of the shoe looks just like the lateral side of the shoe. 
so nothing too different there on our orange leather though we do have this stitching line right here that is not on the shatter backboard 2.0 this little stitching line is not there so this is a little addition right there midsole is sale so you got a little bit of an age midsole and they've been doing this a lot on a lot of different jordan ones even the mids have been having the sale midsoles, which I thought was interesting. Outsole of the shoe is starfish, so nothing special there. Tongue of the shoe is sale colored, and then you have different sets of laces. So you got your orange, and then you have a white pair of laces right here. So you got your orange lace, and then you got your white lace. I went ahead and put ground laces in it because the shatter backboards have black laces, and I kind of wanted to match the ankle collar. So I went ahead and put the brown laces in there because I thought that just looked so good. It looks clutch, I like that. And I took these brown laces from my Travis Scott's. At the top of the shoe right here on the tongue, you have a sail Nike Air tag and it's got that orange in there. Now on the Shatter Backboard 2.0, I believe the tag is orange and it's got the white Nike Air in it. So they kind of just reverse that right here. Sock liner is white, nothing to be impressed with here. The only thing is, you know, when you wear different socks, this is gonna show up. That sock fuzz is gonna show right up on these. And this is gonna get really dirty from, you know, putting your foot in and taking it out. So, you know, preserving this white sock liner is gonna be a real challenge. Standard shoe tree comes with these joints, so nothing special there. And the insole of the shoe, you know, it's white, got the Nike Air right there. So you get a little bit more comfort with the Dream Cell, you know what I mean? It's definitely better than that old foam stuff that they put in. It's nice and squishy. You know, it's got some good rebound to it. So not bad there. So I'm very impressed with this. So overall, you know, the shoe's pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? It's got definitely got some Halloween vibes to it. You know, you got some orange, you got some brown, you got some sale, kind of like Halloween-ish, maybe fall type of vibe there going on. So I do like that. It kind of gives you a nice earth tone. We kind of need more earth tone shoes. So I'm really impressed with that and I'm satisfied with that. Which one would I choose over the Shatter Backboard 2.0 and this one? I mean, to each his own. I think you can go either way. It doesn't really matter. The shoes both look good. I think it just comes down to preference if you like the original or you like this pair. So if I had to rate this shoe on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a solid nine. I do like it. It's a nice hint to the original and you can't go wrong with a shatter backboard style shoe. There's not a lot of orange shoes that look good. So I do like this one. Construction of materials, no lead lines or anything like that. No black light lines. Definitely good leather on here. And the comfort was good. It's true to size. So, you know, this is a women's pair. So it came as a size 12 women's, which is a 10 and a half men's for me. So it fit perfect. So I'll have to give it a nine again for construction of materials. Nothing to complain about there. And that's about it. That's all I got for this one. So make sure you guys follow us in the discord. If you want to know where the cops, all that stuff, make sure you guys follow us there. You will find out where I got this pair. And that's all I got for this video, y'all. So, you know, we on to the next video. You guys stay humble. You guys stay blessed. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.